I'm very excited today to get to share with you some um, newer products out on the market by Art Anthology. They have two different ones. There is the Sorbet, which is amazing and filled with sparkles. Um, I've used quite a bit of this one already. They've also got the Velvet, which is also bright colors, um, deep colors, rich colors, but it doesn't have the sparkle in it. Uh, one of the things I'm really loving about the Velvet and the um, Sorbet is that even in the light colors, you get really good coverage. It's not see-through unless you want it to be, so you can get great dimension and depth of color um, even if it's not a deep dark color, which is rather unusual in these types of products. So that's probably my favorite thing about it so far. Um, I've got several colors here. I want to show you a few things that I've made, give you some ideas. Mostly just play with this, have fun. Um, there's a lot of things they can do. The first thing I want to show you though is some of the sparkle. I hope you can see this well. Um, I used both black and white paper and used the sorbet. Uh, you can really tell here the sparkle that goes in it and this gold is just an amazing shimmer. These colors are the drab is the rose color, frost and tiger's eye, which I like that, that's nice. Um, so that's kind of what you can get the different color in it. When you use it with the thickness um, and the depth, this is the tiger's eye. Uh, I just put some on there and then drew through it. I like the idea of being able to do this maybe on a card or a journal page and create a word in there or and even maybe fill it in with one of the other colors. So that's one of my ideas there. The frost, that's my favorite. I used some stencils. This one I was trying to figure it out in plain and if you shift your stencil you don't get a really clean line but that is definitely operator error not the product. This I love how I've got the sparkle and it really shows. This is going to be my new go-to instead of white ink. I can't seem to get a good white ink unless I emboss it on black and this just is amazing and the texture it comes with is great. I wish you could feel this. One thing I want to show you that I've been doing with um, both of these, and I'm going to do it with the velvet, I've got my example in the sorbet, is actually using the stencil and thinning it a little bit and sponging it on to create a design. So this is with the sorbet, and you can see the sparkle and the color. That is where the stencil was, obviously the white. Uh, so let's do some up. I want to use the light green and show you how rich this color is, even thinned. some in the tray, some glaze, thin it out. This will help it go further obviously but it does create a whole different look um, and really these aren't expensive so I'm not worried about using them up. That isn't really how I work when I create. I do what I want to do. Hey, Tink. Because um, I'm kind of a rebel like that. So, All right, so we've thinned that. <clears throat> I'm going to take this stencil here. I actually think eh, maybe we'll use both of them. And what I've done is I've got it on the sponge. And then I'm actually, I sponge it on, but I'm not going thickly. I don't know if you can see that. And then I kind of want to swirl it because what that'll do is that'll give me those edges up to the lines like you can see there and make a really crisp, clean edge. It doesn't show so well on the black. Let's do it on the white here. Now all of this that I'm using here, the stencils and the art anthology, of course, you can get at Susanna's Custom Art and Card Design. Uh, the, the link is right underneath here so that you can get there yourself. Um, she's got a whole bunch of amazing things and some exclusive stamp lines and you just don't want to miss out on it. But there we go. Let's try the little zebra one over here. Get that. 
So fun stuff. This is the stencil that I had used before. So let's do that one. Now, as you can see, I've got a little bit of stuff left on my stencil here. That's because I didn't clean it right away. Um, some people are more particular about those things than others. Apparently, I'm not. Um, but if I wanted to, I could use some of the perfect cleaner that she's got in their store, that Susanna has. And I know that I take it right off. It always cleans this mat up perfectly. It just amazes me. So there we go. Look at that. Just need a little bit thicker lines in your stencil so you can see it well. So that's the velvet and the sorbet both with a stencil that way. This is with the brick stencil on both the white and the black. Not pretty. That's the sorbet with the sparkle. This one I want to show you. It's a little bit different. Um, instead of using a palette knife, which is what I did here, on this stencil. I also used the sponge again, but I did it thicker and um, really put it on there. And part of the reason I chose to use the sponge was because of all the detail in this stencil. I find that depending on my stencil, sometimes it's easier with a palette knife and sometimes it's just easier to use a sponge. So, oh, look at that. Can you see the sparkle in there? Let's try some of the purple. Sponge it on, sponge it on. There we go. Or if I wanted to use the palette knife, I could do that. And some people are a little more coordinated with this than others, and that makes a big difference too. But that way you can make sure you get all the depth out of your stencil in your embossing and texture with this. There we go. See how much deeper that is? Thicker, I guess, is the better word. Um, so two different looks from just putting it on two different ways. The other couple of things I want to show you, two big things. One is when you thin it out, you can use it to highlight sections. This is really fun if you're doing altered books or if you're doing some journaling on a scrapbook page or a special word highlighted in a card, you can definitely show it off, bring attention to it. And this, I thought this was fabulous. This is using the Frost Sorbet and I stenciled it on and then I sprayed it with one of the Anne Arth 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 Art Anthology Mists and it acts as a great resist and everything just shines. So. I don't know if you can tell, but I have already embossed it on this side. Give a little spray. Take cloth to it. You can do that with paper towel, with cloth, whatever works for you. And see how that just comes right off where the embossing was done? Obviously, I let it dry first, but there you go. So there's just a few things to get you started. Um, I hope you take some time and play with these. They're amazing. I'm going to try and come up with some more ideas for you and we'll post another video as soon as it's ready to go. Have fun.